Standoff with angry construction workers involved in a violent protest over mandatory vaccination on building sites. Hundreds turned on their own union, surrounding the CFMEU headquarters, pelting John Setka and smashing office windows for hours. A city in lockdown and an industry at flashpoint. As a tradie war erupts outside the CFMEU's Elizabeth Street headquarters. These construction workers say they're fighting back against forced vaccination. Their anger aimed at their own union. After a seven hour standoff, it exploded at 4 pm when heavily armed police arrived. And the police behind us, we need to. Police were pelted with bottles. Staff trapped inside used hoses in a desperate attempt to clear the mob. <laughs> Furious workers descended on their union around nine this morning to vent over a looming deadline. If they don't have at least one vaccine dose or a booking to get one, they can't work. Union boss John Setka urged protesters to calm down, denying the union backs mandatory vaccines and suggesting not everyone in the crowd was a union member. That just enraged the workers more. For half these people, if they were out of work for a week, they'd uh, be crawling back on their hands and knees for a job. They haven't made any sacrifices at all. And they're not really unionists. They're just uh, the scum of the earth as far as I'm concerned. There'd be a whole bunch of people who are at home because their industry's shut and they'd be scratching their heads. I mean, the Premier's roadmap clearly states that there's going to be this new uh, segregated underclass in society. They won't be able to work, they won't be able to participate, they won't be able to go to the pub, they won't be able to take part in, in society and people are upset about it. The protest numbers swelled as the hours ticked by. Workers brawled amongst themselves. <laughs> CFMEU windows were smashed, glass was kicked in, police standing face to face with builders, bringing city traffic to a standstill. Uh, items are being thrown towards the police, so we're just going to sit back and... No, 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 I need you out of here. Okay, we're very near alone. I need you out of our way. Yeah, please. We're going to go this way. We'll hurry out of here. We're going to go out of our way. But the Premier is standing by his vaccine ultimatum. The industry would have to operate under different settings, and no doubt I would get advice that it had to be closed. I wouldn't want to do that. A high-vis anti-vax show of force as the construction industry faces a COVID crisis. And Paul Dowsley joins us now. Paul, urgent talks are underway with the immediate future of the construction industry under threat. Mitch, they are happening right now in the highest levels of government and it's a real consideration by them for a full shutdown of the construction industry and it could happen soon. We understand we could hear about this as early as the next few hours. There are still some protesters on Elizabeth Street. A flare was let off down there about 15 minutes ago. Around the same time, briefly, we saw John Setka show his head and his face came out to inspect the damage at the front of his uh, union uh, building. There are now some of his allies here to install wooden placards across the front to protect the shattered front of the union building. Mitch. Paul Dowsley in the city, thank you. Victorians are being 